in this video we're going to look at creating the hat hook so first of all sketch front plane rectangle which is 40 by 20 and just as before 4 mil 4 mil 8 mil and 8 mil going to stick our holes on centers and then put our construction line twenty five millimeters and twelve and a half to center it and five mil from the bottom that's gone black now it shows that it's fully constrained extrude that back three millimeters and that's that done we put the chamfer in 1.5 and then we put the triangle which again is the same as before Now move the plane up. This time we're moving it up by 90 millimeters and putting our ellipse in there. This time it's 40 millimeters. Now we're going to sketch to put the paths in on the right plane. The circles are bigger this time. We've got a 300 diameter circle and a 240 diameter circle. And as before, we need to do the use construction on our ellipse up there. And now we can use the coincident tool. So this circle, the bigger one with the end, and the bigger one with the bottom. construction line so we can trim and the loft so we're going to be lofting the triangle to the ellipse and we're going to be doing a guide and path here at the front and a path at the back and then on top we're going to put the same ball as before I think 
15 millimeters and the measurement from the back face is 40 trim half away and then we're going to revolve that remember to choose it from the features tree and then the centre line we choose that centre there and that is the hat hook complete <laughs>